Here is a grade A question on projectiles. A girl playing volleyball on horizontal ground hits the ball towards the net 9 metres away from a point 1.5 metres above the ground. The ball moves in a vertical plane which is perpendicular to the net. The ball just passes over the top of the net which is 2.4 metres above the ground, as shown in the diagram. The ball is modelled as a particle projected with initial speed u metres per second from point O, 1.5 metres above the ground, at an angle alpha to the horizontal. Part A. By writing down expressions for the horizontal and vertical distances from O to the ball, t seconds after it was hit, show that when the ball passes over the net, 0 0.9 is equal to 9 tan alpha minus 81 g over 2 u squared cos squared alpha. This is 6 marks. Given that alpha is equal to 30 degrees, part b, find the speed of the ball as it passes over the net. This is 6 marks. Now pause the video ladies and gents, have a go at the question and then play the video. Whenever we solve problems involving projectiles, it is very important that we split the motion into horizontal and vertical. I'm going to start by going through some important facts about the horizontal direction. So horizontal direction facts. Point number one, the velocity horizontally is fixed. The velocity v is equal to u, where u represents the initial velocity horizontally. Point number two, the acceleration is equal to zero. Point number three, whenever we look at the horizontal direction, we need to use the formula s equal vt. S represents the displacement horizontally. V represents the initial velocity horizontally. T represents the time. Let's have a look at part A. I can label the horizontal component and the vertical component for the initial velocity u by forming a right angle triangle. The horizontal component is u cos alpha, the vertical component is u sin alpha. I can split the motion into horizontal and vertical. In the horizontal direction, I need to use the formula S equal vt. S is the displacement horizontally, v is the initial velocity horizontally, t is the time. I'll be taking right to represent the positive direction. So what do I know horizontally? Firstly, I know that the displacement s is equal to 9. The velocity v, which represents the initial velocity horizontally, is u cos alpha. I can substitute s equal 9, v equal u cos alpha into s equal vt to give me the following result. 9 is equal to u cos alpha in brackets t. I can now make t the subject, giving me t is equal to 9 over u cos alpha. I can call this equation 1. In the vertical direction, I'm going to take upwards to represent the positive direction. So what do I know vertically? Well, I know that the displacement s is given by 2.4, take away 1.5. So the displacement s is equal to 0 0.9. The acceleration a is equal to minus g, where g is the acceleration due to gravity. a is equal to minus g because upwards represents the positive direction. And we know that acceleration due to gravity acts downwards. Now, the initial velocity vertically, u, is equal u sine alpha. I can substitute s equal 0 0.9, a equal minus g, u equal u sine alpha into the SUVAT equation s equal ut plus a half a t squared. So if I do this, I get 0 0.9 is equal u sine alpha in brackets t plus a half in brackets minus g t squared. I can call this equation number 2. The next step is to substitute equation 1 into equation 2. 
So after carrying out the substitution, I get this particular equation. I need to clean up this equation in order to obtain this equation. So I have 0 0.9 is equal, the u's cancel, sine alpha over cos alpha is tan alpha, so I can write 9 tan alpha minus g all over 2. 9 squared is 81, so I could put 81 here. u cos alpha squared is u squared cos squared alpha, so I could put u squared cos squared alpha over here. 81 u squared cos squared alpha. And that there is the equation that I needed in part A. Let's have a look at part B. Given that alpha is equal to 30 degrees, find the speed of the ball as it passes over the net. The ball passes over the net at this point. To find the speed of the ball at this point, we need to first find the velocity vector of the ball at this point. So now I'm going to draw the velocity vector at this point. It looks something like this. I can call this velocity vector V. The velocity vector V will have a horizontal component and a vertical component. So here is my velocity vector V. It has a horizontal component and a vertical component. The horizontal component is just the initial velocity horizontally, which is u cos alpha. I know that alpha is equal to 30 degrees, so if I substitute alpha equal to 30 degrees into u cos alpha, I get square root 3 over 2 u. I don't know what the vertical component is for the velocity vector v, I can call it vy. So for part b, I know that the velocity vector as the ball passes over the net is v equal to square root 3 over 2 ui minus vy j. To find the speed of the ball as it passes over the net, I just take the magnitude of the velocity vector. Now before I calculate the speed, I need to work out the value of u and the value of vy. Let's start off with u. I know that as the ball passes over the net, this equation is satisfied. I can substitute alpha equal to 30 degrees into this equation, rearrange and make u the subject. If I substitute alpha equal to 30 degrees into the equation, I get 0 0.9 is equal to 3 square root 3 minus 81g over 3 over 2u squared. Now if I rearrange and make u the subject, this gives me u is equal to 11.1 .1 to 1 decimal place. Now I can go ahead and work out vy. vy represents the vertical component of the velocity vector as the ball passes over the net. To work out vy, I need to look at the motion in the vertical direction. I can take upwards to be the positive direction. So what do I know vertically as the ball passes over the net? Firstly, the displacement s is equal to 0 0.9. The initial velocity vertically is equal to 11.1 .1, sine 30 degrees. The acceleration is equal to minus g. g is the acceleration due to gravity. Instead of writing minus g, I can write minus 9.8. The final velocity vertically is equal to vy. Now I can substitute s equals 0 0.9, u equal 11.1 .1 sine 30 degrees, a equal minus 9.8, v equal vy into v squared is equal u squared plus 2as. So if I carry out the substitution, I get vy squared is equal to 11.1 .1 sine 30 degrees in bracket squared plus 2 in brackets, minus 9.8, in brackets, 0 0.9. If I put the right-hand side into my calculator, I get Vy squared is equal to 13.1625. Hence, Vy is equal to the square root of 13.1625. So, I can now substitute the value for U and the value for Vy into the velocity vector as the ball passes over the net. Doing this gives me v is equal to 5.55 square root 3i minus square root 13.1625j. To find the speed, 
as the ball passes over the net, I need to work out the magnitude of the velocity vector as the ball passes over the net. So this will be square root 5.55 square root 3 squared plus minus square root 13.1625 squared. If I put this into my calculator, I get that the answer will be 10.27 meters per second to two decimal place. Therefore, the speed of the ball as it passes over the net is 10.27 meters per second to two decimal places. And that completes part B. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.